Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to uh, show you how we can easily flash the DSG-7 DQ-200 uh, mechatronic units, the 0AM927769D. So this comes from the factory uh, blank and uh, you will need to put some software on these units before you can uh, install them in, uh, in the car. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do it with the help of the VAS. This is an older uh, software from uh, from uh, Volkswagen. Uh, it was replaced by Audis, but uh, today uh, we are going to, to use this one because it's the most common tool used today. So we are going to the self-diagnosis and see what's going to happen here. Well, my screen just jumped for a moment. We go to the onboard diagnostics. It will take a little bit of time until the all the components are gathered up. I have nothing connected to the flash cable. I just have connected the bus head and uh, the mechatronic unit. So now it will ask us for a VIN number, we just put something, doesn't matter what, and just say OK. Now we want to flash the gearbox, so we double click on this one. We can see the current version, it's 0AM300049G, and this is the hardware part number. So when it's coming from the factory, it will be this part number, you will have to uh, put into the configuration file in order to be able to flash it. So, uh, as you can see there is no option to update or upgrade the software version. Uh, that's why we have to edit a file uh, that's here. It's in the home that flash it's called get 02 stt and you will see here I have the software number and in order to be able to flash it I will have to tell the mechatronic unit that this is the version I all I have now on my unit so I will give it G and G here and also a G here and then we save the file and now if I go back and then go forward again The update programming it's showing up. Why? Because uh, the gearbox says, okay, uh, I'm going to flash a 0AM300049G 0 0 with a new software and this is the name of the file I'm going to flash it with. So this is the 0693B020AM uh, version OV3B. Okay, this is the file name that's uh, uh, on the hard drive and this file I will have to have it on my C CDs home that flash folder. If this file is not on the dash the that flash folder you will not be able to to, to flash it. So let's try and, uh, and say update programming and now the new version 1902 will be programmed. So that means this file it's actually the zero the 1902 version. So we just go and now the process is running. It's going to erase and then it's going to flash. Erasing and I'm not going to show you the whole process because it's going to take quite a while. Uh, so the erasing is complete. Now it's programming the unit and when it's 100% we will see the new software version. And now the flashing is the flashing is complete now and you can see you get another part number 0AM300047E. So this is how you flash it uh, and I will show you now how to change the version again if you need to. So now we have the unit flashed with the software version 1902 and we want to program it with another version. Now VAS needs to know that I have this version I want to program 
uh, 047E. As you can see, I have no update programming here. The option 19 is missing. Uh, that's why I have to edit the uh, get 02SET file again and tell it that it's this unit I want to flash. So uh, we open the SET file and I'm going to tell it, you know, I have the 047E unit which I want to flash yeah and I will uh, also want to flash another file another version let's see here yeah. Remember the file needs to be in your that flash folder. And paste here. And paste here. And now I'm going to save it. I'm going to go back one step and then one step forward. And here I have the option 19 to update programming. You select it and say, you know, if you want to program it now, it will get the new version to 6.7.0. I'll go on and say continue. And at the end, we will should be able to see the new version showing right up here. So this is the hardware number 0AM927769D. And this is the software version and number. So this is the software version and this is the software number. Now it's going to erase again and the process of programming will start again. I'm going to uh, skip the part until we get to the 100%. We are at 39%. Uh, the process is taking uh, a little bit of time. So we are at 98%, 99%. And I have to uh, switch the ignition off and on. But as it's on the bench, I will just have to disconnect the unit. <coughs> Connect again. And we'll say ignore. And now we have the new version. It's a 048P with the version 2670. As you see, I've played a little bit with this unit and now it has been programmed uh, six times. Uh, now it's going to want to clear the DTCs, but I don't need that for now. So this is how you do it. Now you can see uh, I have no option to, to uh, upgrade anymore the software. The only thing I have to do is get into the get 02 STT file and edit the software version to 048P and then I will be able to upgrade it again. So if I go here and just say 48P, 48P, 48P save the file, I go back one instance and forward again and now I have the update programming option. I'm not going to flash it anymore. Uh, this was just to show you how it's done. Thank you.